This is probably my absolute dream setup. I'm coming with me a torch. Now, oh, it's freezing. <laughs> this is just unbelievable. Yeah. I've literally not been able to sleep for the last two or three hours because it feels like there's about 100 mile an hour gale force winds going on outside. This was meant to be like a fun new video series, but honestly, I'm regretting this so much right now. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I was super excited for today's video. However, for the last 24 hours, we have had Arctic-like blizzard conditions here in the UK. We are currently on a two hour road trip on the way to Wales to go and meet a friend of mine called Rob, who has the most unbelievable 4x4 Land Rover Defender. We've got another hour of driving to go and then I'm going to be checking out probably what is my absolute dream overlanding setup. In this week's video, we're going to be checking out the ultimate 4x4 Land Rover Defender. And tonight, I'm going to be sleeping on top of there, inside a tent. I don't even know where to start. First things first, just don't crash it. This is my first time ever driving a 4x4 vehicle, and it couldn't be any other make other than a Landy. Rob's upgraded pretty much everything on this car from the suspension to absolutely everything. I've never felt suspension like it. It is super bouncy. Why are the roads so narrow in Wales? I'm shitting it every time we go past the road, which is super thin because where we are right here, there's just brick walls on either side. And a big car like this is like an absolute tank trying to get through. One thing I realised straight away is the visibility is poor. The windscreen is honestly about a foot and a half tall and about four foot wide. We've just pulled over a second because apparently there's a beautiful stretch of road that runs all the way from Bridge End to Ogmore by Sea. So uh, we're going to try and jump on that road because I think this Land Rover is going to look epic along that coastal road. You pull over for literally about two minutes and the whole car is completely steamed up. This probably has to be one of the most kitted out dashboards I've ever seen. There's a horn switch somewhere. <laughs> I want myself one of these. This is probably my absolute dream setup. A Land Rover, blacked out like this, huge massive tires, a snorkel, and then a tent on top. The complete overlanding look. Let me know in the comments what your ideal camping vehicle setup is. Wales, you have not brought the weather but in summer, I could tell it would be absolutely beautiful around here. This is not the type of car you want to go past with an exhaust like this driving past a horse. It's very loud, so I thought I'd wait. <laughs> no worries. Pull off gently. I don't want to spook the horse. I 
So if you want getting out of that thing, you need a step ladder. Unfortunately, the place where we're parked up right now is absolutely unbelievable. Right in the middle of the forest, sand dunes all around. But there's one problem. There's ANPR cameras scattered absolutely everywhere, which means we can't stay here tonight. It's a shame that such a beautiful spot has cameras and stops people staying here, but uh, also I understand it because uh, unfortunately there's a few people out there that just kind of ruin it for everybody else. Real quick, I want to say a massive thank you to today's video sponsor who is none other than HelloFresh. HelloFresh is a meal kit subscription service that delivers ingredients and recipes to your front door every single week. They've got hundreds of different recipes and ingredients and cuisines to try from. Oh. Whether you're looking for high protein meals, vegetarian meals, or my personal favorite, the rapid recipes, which are meals that can be cooked in under 20 minutes, that's bloody fantastic because it obviously saves you a huge amount of time. A lot of you are probably aware that for the last few years, my go-to recipe has been chicken fajitas, but I'm safe to say now, with HelloFresh, those days are behind me. I'm now able to eat and cook a variety of different meals each week. So far this week, I've had pesto crusted salmon, which was delightful. And now I've got some beef enchiladas on the go. Oh my, bon appetito. If you guys want to check out HelloFresh for yourself, then you can do so by using my discount code WILL60, which will give you 60% of your first box and then 25% off the next two months. A big thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video and keep an eye out for some weird, wacky and wonderful recipes coming in the very near future. I have literally chosen the worst day of the year to stay on top of a tent. Tonight it's going to be absolutely freezing and super windy. So we've got Rob here, whose van it is or whose car it is, and he's going to show me how to set it all up because I'm absolutely clueless and with the weather conditions it's going to be absolute chaos. I'm coming with me a torch. <sighs> now, it's freezing. How do you do all this by yourself? I get a bloody knackered. Christ almighty. There's a lot of up and down on this. Hell. I don't help because your hands are cold. Mate, I tell you what, I wouldn't want to do this. My hands are freaking freezing. Whose idea was this? <laughs> My idea. You're the idiot that agreed to it. <laughs> what are you doing under there? This slides off. Right. And do those belt goes. See those belt goes this way? Yeah, oh, it's out. Ladder's loose. Right. Pull the ladders towards you. Nora! Right. <laughs> right. Pull it towards you. Pull it down. Pull it down. Yeah? Right. Keep going. Pull it, pull it. Jesus. The hell. That comes down. This is a hell of a setup. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. Oh my god! You're regretting this, aren't you? I am regretting this. <laughs> I'll show you torch you a minute for me. Hey? See that hole? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. There's one on the other side. Can you put it in? Once we got it set up, Rob, it'll be all right. <laughs> I think so, yeah. Stay calm. I'll get you a beer at the pub. I can't get it in. <laughs> hey? <laughs> it's all about the life experience and the memories, Rob. You never forget me again. <laughs> I can't feel my fingers. No, neither can I. <laughs> That's not good. Right. Hold that. See this cord? Hold yeah. this. Hang a minute, hang a minute. Too bad job, this. Oh, he's got fucking... Know, it's gone around my neck. We're going to hang him. I see why I needed your help with this. There's not a chance I would have got this up by myself. I got you. Well, you do it, bro. Ah, uh, next. Right, shine your torch over here, because I can't see. Oh, I can't feel me fucking hands, bastard. You've not stayed in it in this weather conditions? No, no. <laughs> You're the first. You're not stupid enough, are you? I can't get this cold in. Hell. <laughs> This is just unbelievable. <laughs> this was meant to be like a fun new video series, but honestly, I'm regretting this so much right now. Drive three hours to Wales, just stay in a tent on top of a car. I can't even get the tent up. <laughs> even if I hit my hand, I wouldn't feel it. <laughs> can't feel your fingers. I can't feel them whatsoever. <laughs> Well, 
welcome to my home for the night. It's quite spacious in here, to be fair. It uh, looks like there's a lot more bed space than my actual van. However, there's one problem, obviously, which is it's super windy. So I don't imagine tonight I'm going to be getting a crazy amount of sleep. But uh, it is what it is. I'm sure once I'm tucked up and inside, I'm at least protected from all of the actual wind keeping me cold. And uh, I'll just snuggle up inside my sleeping bag and, fingers crossed, get a decent night's sleep. Obviously, in here, there's pretty much nothing. All you've got is the outer shell of the tent. We've got a little lantern up there. There are windows on either side of the tent, which in a nice hot summer's day, you'd open up to get some airflow. What's great is you've got these steps that lead up straight into this little bedroom area. And then you've got this tent here, which is kind of just acts as a nice little bit of cover for if it was raining, then you could use this space to cook outside and all of the things like that. But as you can see, it's flapping around. So it's gonna be quite noisy tonight. As I've said multiple times already, I've literally picked the worst night of the year to experience what it's like to do a bit of overlanding, but uh, it is what it is. One thing I've actually forgotten to do is inside the actual car underneath me, it's got a uh, motion sensor security immobilizer or something. So Rob's told me to, uh, to turn it off because of me sleeping on top of here. Oh my God, it's so windy. Me sleeping on top of here, I'm obviously gonna be moving around as I sleep, which could actually set the sensors off inside. Right, that's the alarm off. And then I just need to manually lock it, apparently. Oh, shit. <laughs> Not like that. <laughs> That's exactly what I was trying to prevent. <laughs> right, that's locked now. We've got a fly screen as well to do. That's it. I'm all tucked in. Cocooned. <laughs> yeah, boy. This is going to be epic. This is super, super spacious. Far more spacious than I ever thought it would be, to be honest with you. I've got a sleeping bag and a couple of pillows and a runny nose, which hopefully should keep me warm. The only thing that's a little bit disconcerting is the fact that you can kind of feel the whole vehicle moving in the wind. It's been a long time since I've slept in a tent. Bloody lovely. I think it's time for me to say goodnight. Bon oui. And I'll catch you guys in the morning. And uh, fingers crossed, I get a decent night's sleep. Otherwise, uh, yeah, tomorrow morning's gonna be a struggle to wake up. I've literally not been able to sleep for the last two or three hours it feels like there's about 100 mile an hour gale force winds going on outside it's raining as well this is absolute madness it is freezing the whole thing is just moving from left to right up and down i'm never doing this again oh my god it's getting worse glad the ladder stayed because I had a feeling that all of this might have blown away in the night. Oh. Ah. Oh. 
seat so high up and my ass is caught. Oh. Oh. I'm absolutely freezing. This Welsh weather has not been kind to me whatsoever. Just look at it outside. It is absolutely disgusting. I've got to now wait for Rob to arrive, who's going to help me put the tent away, because uh, otherwise, with this wind and this rain, it's going to be a catastrophe, me trying to do that myself, and I don't want to tear it, I don't want to cock it up, I don't want to get the inside completely drenched with water, so I'll wait for him to arrive and uh, pack this thing up. <laughs> video please make sure to give the video a like subscribe and i'll catch you next week with another weird wonderful and wacky vehicle camping sound <laughs>